Hi there. So um, there's gonna be a few. Uh, what I did is I I categorize them. Okay. Um, this is on the posterior um side. Since I talk about the um, erector uh, spinae group, I am going um into like a map here. That's how I study usually. So I'm separating them according to its um a group. And also, is it an anterior or is it posterior side? Anterior meaning front, later, um, lateral is on the side, going medial, lateral. I made uh, a video uh, with regard to that. And then posterior is at the back. Okay, so there's two muscles here. This is the interspinalis. Okay, what it, it does is it extends the vertebral column. Okay, along, remember, um, I did a uh, some videos prior to this so if you can watch this as well so the origin and insertion is at the cervical spanning the spinous process of c2 to t3 and then lumbar uh, spanning the spinous processes of t12 to l5 and the er nerve innervation is a spinal okay and then the inter um sorry i'm gonna put my hand here so you guys can see the photo Okay, and the inter uh, transfer uh, seri, uh, unilaterally it lateral flex the vertebral column to the same side, and it bilaterally uh, it extends the vertebral column. Again, it's just this. This is um, um, similar to the videos that I made. So I want you guys to separate them. I have my own list, but it's better that you guys know uh, which are synergist action and which are group. Uh, also, do this. You know, kind of do a map and kind of connect them together, okay? And bilaterally, uh, the action will be extending the, uh, the vertebral column, okay? So O and I is cervical, um, spanning the transverse process of vertebrae C2 to C7, and at the lumbar, spanning the transverse process of vertebrae L1 to L5, and this is also a uh, spinal nerve innervation, okay? There's another 